I'm here now joined with Mark and Lisa, the owners of Double Six Racing. Hello, thank Hi. you for joining me, taking time out for a little chat. Um, tell me about Double Six Racing. We are uh, a young team, up and coming team, and um, we we've want to find a really good driver for next year, um, which is why we've uh, set up the scholarship. Um, basically, there's a lot of very good drivers out there, but the motorsport industry is uh, renowned for being expensive to, to join. Mm. And um, we've set up the scholarship to find a really good driver and uh, who's maybe not got a budget. Um, want to give something back to the motorsport, really, because we've had so much fun watching it. We want to give something back and uh, put somebody in a drive that might not have well have had a, tr have a chance. So, have you had have you had this experience yourself? Then that's what's made you think. Well, I want to give that to other people now. Yeah, we've. Um, I've been looking to get into motorsport in terms of racing myself for a long time, and um, just with family commitments and work commitments, and and more importantly, not having the money to actually fund it. Um, you know, even even down to sort of the, the grassroots level of motorsport, it's, it's quite expensive for the, for us to uh, afford to do. So. Um, yeah, that, that was, you know, we had that in mind when we, when we fought the scholarship. Tell me about the scholarship, what's actually involved? The competitors uh, basically turn up, we give them a, a safety briefing, because um, safety is important in motorsport, it's the first thing that we, that we look at. Um, and in the first couple of rounds, we're not looking for lap times, we're looking for um, consistency and basically listen to the instructors. Um, the instructors are with me all the time in the cars, um, giving them advice and then sort of monitoring how well they do and, and give them a grade at the end of the day. And, and based on that grade, they go through to uh, the second round and come back, we invite them back for round two. Um, and we do a similar amount in, of work in round two. Um, and then we've got a semi-final and final, which is uh, sort of very exciting and uh, down to the final, 10 in the final. Lisa, what is the prize? Tell us everything that it involves. It's basically a, a season racing in the Renault Clio Cup Championship next year. It involves 10 rounds, so 10 weekends full of racing for the, for the winner. Um, there's also the race to everything basically that they need to go um, race driving with, get the national B license and also a trophy. Um, there's also the fact that you know they can be able to move on um, to bigger and better things and get spotted perhaps um, you know in that season. Amazing. So can anyone take part in the scholarship or do you have to be an experienced racer? No, it's open to novices. Um, we have uh, all age ranges. Uh, people from 17 to uh, late 50 even entering, uh, male and female, um, it's open to absolutely everybody. Okay, and finally, what are you looking for in your winner? What have they got to have? There's a vast range of things. Um, if, we, if we pick up a, a young driver, um, then they can maybe make a career out of it and, and say that it started with us. Um, if we select a, an older driver, um, they can... Um, prove to everyone else out there that you're never too old to do this. Yeah. It's not like Formula One where you have to be young and, and start yeah. um, the, the sort of racing that we're involved with. You know, people in the late 50s are still doing it. So um, it's an opportunity for everybody really, at all ages and all um, um, sexes. Brilliant. Um, yeah. Okay, thank you very much for taking time out to talk to me. Okay, thank, thank you. you.